Hey, how are you? Well, I got a good response with the bookcase build, and one of the main questions was, uh, it's a question I've answered before, uh, where do you get the bead molding, or do you make your own bead molding? And I do make my own bead molding, and this is a, a bead molding cutting head that goes in the table saw, and I'll put a link on the screen, You can. there's a whole video on it, and it's kind of fun to make bead molding. I uh, when, when I was young, I worked at a place called The Woodworker in Wayne, New Jersey. I started working there when I was in 11th grade, and I was in a work-study program. I worked there from 1 o'clock until 6 o'clock every day, and we produced a lot of cabinets. So one of the things that I did was make a lot of molding. And so there would be days where I would just make molding, and we often made molding only on the table saw. And then a couple of years down the road, we ended up getting uh, a Williams & Hussey molding machine, which is a, a great machine. And uh, I have one, I'll show you that one of these days, and I'll do some kind of project with it. But um, this is a bead molding uh, cutting head that I got at Sears, and you may still be able to find this. You could probably find it online, and when I bought it, it was somewhere around $30 or $40. But that was a long time ago. Now, another question was, how am I going to finish the bookcase? And um, I generally finish my painted projects always the same way. I'll start out by sanding the project, then priming it. I usually always use Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. It's a latex acrylic primer. It's a heavy body primer, so it fills some of the imperfections. And then once the cabinet has been primed and it's dry, then you can really see the imperfections because they're darker, basically because the cabinet's now white. You can see any little imperfections. And then I'll go over with joint compound and fill all of those imperfections, whether it's a nail hole or a gap in the miter or something like that. And then once the joint compound is dry, I'll sand the whole cabinet, sanding the primer and the fill at the same time. And then once the cabinet's been sanded, then I'll usually use two coats of a semi-gloss latex paint. Sometimes I'll use an oil paint, but I prefer to use a latex paint, it's just faster drying and easier cleanup. One quick tip when you're using a latex paint, it's great to have one of these rolls of uh, packing wrap around because what I like to do is in between coats of paint is wrap the brush up and that'll keep the brush wet and usable for a couple of days really. You could, I could put a couple of coats of paint on this and then come back three days later and still use the same brush. So that's something I do all the time. So there are a few questions about all the miter cuts in this project, and I can't stress enough how useful it is to have a sacrificial fence on your miter saw. It really makes getting those nice tight miters really easy. And I've got a, a short video on how to make a sacrificial fence and why, and I'll put a link on the screen. Now the saw, this is an inexpensive Hitachi saw. It's got a good blade in it, and I think this was about $100. It was like one of the specials at a home store a few years ago. And I bought the saw with the idea that I would set it up with a sacrificial fence and only use it for small miter cuts, whether that's frames or uh, trimming out a cabinet like this. Well, I was really hoping to finish and install the bookcase this week, but it's just not going to happen. I'm not really going to get a lot of time in the shop, so I'll have to push this to sometime next week. This week, I'm going down to the shore to help my brother with his modular house. You may have seen the video I made. His house was lost in Hurricane Sandy and he replaced it with a modular, which is really nice, by the way. I think uh, modular houses have just really come so far. In fact, I think it would be a lot of fun to build one one day, uh, but that's definitely sometime down the road. Now, I'm also going to meet with a builder who is building a house on the Barnegat Bay, and I'm hoping that that will turn into some good projects and, and then some good videos for the spring. So that'll. Uh, I'm looking forward to that meeting, and I'm looking forward to talking to the builder um, it's somebody I've worked with in the past, so that should be fun. Now, I did pre-record a video for Friday. I did a small woodworking repair to a Mercedes-Benz. So this is a video that's a little bit uh, out of the ordinary, but it was a fun project, and I hope you will check the video out. Thanks for tuning in.